What is kicking, guys? It's Josh here with the Privates Productions back in Unreal Engine 4 with a fifth audio tutorial. Audio in Unreal Engine 4? That's what we're doing. A really quick tutorial today, by the way, guys. Remember in a last tutorial, we set up some footsteps in our audio series. Remember that? I got them set up right here, bro. They're walking around. I'm in this Infinity Blades map. It's all gorgeous. I'm glad they let us play around on it for fun. But the point is, when I stop walking, you'll notice that my footsteps just kind of stop. There's no real air environment. There's no reverb. There's no sound. And we're going to set up reverb today. And we're going to set it up fast. This is going to be easy. So check it out. Let's escape an F11. Now I'm already in the DP folder. And this map's got all kind of trigger boxes. But we're going to go down to volumes. Because we're going to need a certain type of volume to set up our, our, our reverb effect. And it's called an audio volume. Now, before we set up the reverb. Let me explain to you just a couple things because this is a super fast tutorial and it's very easy. But this box, wherever it's going to be, wherever you decide to have it, you have to make sure of one thing. You, you know, obviously it may be very, very precise and right now it's not. But you'll notice that I'm making the box the box pretty big and, and there's, there's a specific reason for that. If your character goes inside the box, that's fine. But it's not necessarily going to trigger the reverb. Your camera, the character's camera actually has to go in. So if you're, if you're walking in right here but your camera's way back here, it's not going to hear it yet. So I usually make my box pretty big. I like to stretch it out. You know what I mean? Get a little girth. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to, we got our audio volume here. It's not going to do anything. But here's the thing. If you're in the details panel with the audio volume selected, it'll ask you right here for a reverb. And you're like, nice. We just got, we just got plugged in a reverb, bro. Well, where, where's the reverb? Exactly. So let's right click over here in the canvas. Go down to sounds and go to reverb effect. And I'll just keep it, I'll just keep it named exactly what it is. New reverb effect. And we can, what we can do is we can drag this bad baby on there. Voila. Now that, that's it. That we're, we're actually done. Now that's all I had. To, that's all I got to teach you. So uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's, let's go into the new reverb effect and let's open it up. Now, sometimes when you open it, it'll look like this. And people are like, oh no, but everything's fine. You literally just go to the windows, click on details, bada bing. You got all kind of settings here, bruh. Now the thing is, now when we walk in this audio volume, this reverb is going to, is, is, is going to happen. It's going to happen. So we're going to go in here. We're going to kind of set up some of the settings. I just want to, there's several here. Definitely toy with them, have some fun. But I do want to show you just a few of them and exactly what we can do. So to get some volume. I'm gonna go straight to our gain, and you can see it's set to 0.32. I'm gonna set it way up. We're gonna set it to. Uh, we're gonna set it to point. We're gonna. I'm gonna set it to 0.9. I, mean, I might as well set it to one. I don't know, but the only reason I'm doing that is now. Let's walk out here and just test that it's working. I turn it up to 0.9, the gain of the reverb. That way, it actually has some sound. So, we're walking. Okay, pretty blank. Let's walk into our reverb box. See what happens. Oh ho ho! You hear that? Got a little, got a little echoness, got a little environment, got a little love. Not really, but still, like it's cool. We got a little, we got a little of that. We got a little of that. Now the thing is, we got a lot of settings we can toy with. This is obviously not a good reverb for being outside, but it still sounds cool, right? Let's F11 Alt, Alt or F11 and Escape and all that. Let's keep it at point nine. But let's talk about a couple things. Now this bad baby right here is actually very important. The high filter. So if I set it down, as you can tell, it was bringing out most of the reverb. I'll set it up to one, okay? But I'm gonna set this down to about. 0.2, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. And now you're gonna notice that the reverb is more dull, it's more low based, and the treble has been taken out of it. It's a high filter, so check it out. Hear that? It's kinda, it's kinda muddy. Like I'm in a deep, dark, damp basement. All right, so let's go back and check out a couple more things. Now, my favorite, obviously a very simple one. You can set up the decay time itself. I'll set it to five seconds. It was set to 1.49, and that's literally, <coughs> it's going to be the length. It's going to be the length of our reverb, bro. We're going to walk over here because we ain't got none yet. But as soon as I get in the box. Oh, yeah. Like I'm in a big old cave. I love it. You know what I'm talking about? Big old nasty cave. You know what I'm talking about? Now, that, that, that's just a couple of the settings. I'm literally just touching a few of them. Now, there's a couple things right here. Let's go back to the reflections, the gain, and the delay. And, and honestly, even the density and the fusion is going to make you make it how clear or grainy it is. It can be kind of grainy and it, or it can be real clear. And that depends on the room that you're trying to, to recreate reverb style. A lot of people record the tones of a room and then actually use them as the reverb, which is brilliant. But I don't have that type of technology. So anyway, the point is the reflection gains and the decay. Now, this right here, this is actually, let's set it. It's a, 
it's very low, as you can tell, but I'm going to set it to about 0.5. And you're going to notice now that the, 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 the echo, a.k.a. reverb, a.k.a. delay of the reverb, is actually going to be a little behind when, I, when, when I'm actually playing the game. So it's actually not going to happen immediately, like typically, in most scenarios. But just check it out. You see that? Every time I step. Oh, it's, a, it's about a half a second behind me before the reverb actually even happens. Now, it would take a very specific type of room to want that. You know what I'm talking about? But the point is, if I want it to be just real, real, real bright and white, you know what I'm talking about? Just real all kind of bright. I can crank this gain all the way up. I can crank this time to seven seconds. I can turn this delay back down. And I think it was set to like, let you can click the little yellow arrow, the boom button. It sets it back to what it was. And now I'm going to turn that high filter off. So it's going to be bringing in all the reverb, all of it, because I want it. I want all of it. And I'm going to just have it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be really loud. Really powerful, really long. We're in a giant cathedral with really bad acoustics. They did a terrible job when they built this place. But yeah, there you go, guys. You got some reverb. And if I walk out of the box, as you can tell, the reverb goes away. Which is freaking amazing, guys. Just wanted to make sure you guys understood, since we're still digging into the audio side, that you can easily set up a reverb effect yourself and many, many other things that we're about to discuss. I got several tutorials about to come out. Literally, we're going to pump out a few over the next week. So a lot of them coming out, a lot of UE4 and a lot of other things. But guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Hope you learned a little, hope you learned a little something about reverb. It's very simple to set up. So get in there and do it. Very helpful for your environmental um, areas. Like, you know, different, different, you know, different areas, different. You got a sewer, you got a city, or you got a, a pipeline, or you got a, you got a ball. You know, I'm saying just toy with them have some fun thanks for watching guys love you miss you Josh here with the Deprived Productions back in UE4 again with some audio a fifth tutorial go subscribe to the YouTube channel Deprived Productions go like that Facebook Deprived Productions go walk around in this cave with us to where you can barely hear me because there's so much reverb or whatever or not um, but yeah hit us up on SoundCloud hit us up on uh, Bandcamp Deprived capital D at the beginning capital D at the end EP out tons of free music covers on the way and another EP love you guys miss you guys I'll see you soon until then peace